the topic of discussion in this module is the hydrops fetalis and hemoglobin bots hydrops fetalis syndrome with hemoglobin bots is the most severe form of alpha thalassemia because no alpha globin chains can be produced in this disorder because alpha chains are produced after the 5th or 6th week of fetal life the affected fetuses have great difficulty in synthesizing a functional hemoglobin as a result gamma chains accumulate in the fetus and form gamma tetramer which is called as hb bots if you see the normal structure of the fetal hemoglobin which is hemoglobin f right this hemoglobin f has alpha to two alpha chains and two gamma chains now because of the complete absence of the synthesis of alpha globin gene alpha synthesis cannot happen that is the reason it is replaced by the synthesis of gamma chains then what happens is completely there is a gamma chain so gamma tetramer is formed right this gamma tetramer is called as hb bots this gamma tetramer is called as hb bots when this hb bots binds to oxygen it can bind to oxygen but it cannot release it into the tissues because its affinity for oxygen is at least 10 times greater than the hemoglobin a so it will binds to the oxygen but because of inability to release oxygen to the tissues what happens is there will be a severe tissue hypoxia unlike hemoglobin h that is hemoglobin h disease hemoglobin bots has little propensity to precipitate and form inclusion bodies now if a molecular defect allows the fetus to synthesize zeta chains which are nothing but embryonic variant of alpha chain then the fetus can make hb portland that is zeta 2 and gamma 2 so what is hb portland zeta 2 and gamma 2 so fetus can make hb portland and survive in the utero until the third trimester and these fetuses are functionally severely anemic despite the fact that the measured hemoglobin concentration may be as high as 10 grams per deciliter due to the presence of hemoglobin bots as well as hemoglobin portland so maybe the hemoglobin concentration is maximum up to 10 grams per deciliter right and the red blood cells are hypochromic and microcytic and the erythropoiesis is vastly expanded to compensate for the resulting profound tissue hypoxia with a compensatory extra medullary erythropoiesis in the liver as well as in the spleen so whenever there is a severe tissue hypoxia there will be a synthesis of erythropoietin and uh, there will be a consequent production of uh, rbcs and there will be a profound uh, erythropoiesis in the bone marrow not only the bone marrow now there will be an erythropoiesis in the extra medullary sites that is in the liver as well as in the spleen and a small component of hemoglobin h that is beta 4 tetramers may also be present if the fetuses can synthesize beta chains so approximately 98% of the cases you may see like hb bots as well as hb portland only in 1 to 2% uh, of the concentration is uh, beta tetramer the result is the severe functional anemia causing high output cardiac failure with anasarca and capillary leak because of the capillary leak the name is hydrops and the capillary leak may be caused by an increased secretion of vascular endothelial growth factor that is vegf by the stressed fetal heart and the fetal heart is secreting vascular endothelial growth factor and this vascular endothelial growth factor 
secreted by the stressed fetal heart right fetal heart is producing this vascular endothelial gro growth factor that can cause capillary leaks and cause high drops and other defects in this particular condition includes a massively enlarged placenta and severe maternal complications such as hypertension as well as polyhydramnios. So here hydrops fetalis is incompatible with uh, extra uterine life. However, antenatal diagnosis with a transfusional and parenteral stem cell infusions followed by the allogenic bone marrow transplantation may result in increase in the survival rate and this is what you need to know about uh, hemoglobin bots.